The tradition is more than 100 years old. The first celebration occurred at midnight on December 31st, 1907, and included a balloon descending over the crowd. Now it's impossible for New Yorkers and those watching on television around the world to imagine New Year's Eve without the famous ball that's comprised of more than 2,500 crystal panels and 32,000 light-emitting diodes. The first ball weighed just over 300 kilograms and was 1.5 meters in size. Today the ball is more than three and a half meters in diameter and weighs more than five tons. Each year the ball has a special theme. So this year on the Waterford Crystal Ball we had the theme of the gift of serenity, which after a 2017 that was full of anger and difficulty is a theme that we think really suits uh, what we need as we head into 2018. The crystal panels for the ball are traditionally produced by the Irish company Waterford. Their craftsmen are on site and are working to install panels based on drawings illustrating this New Year's theme. As you look at here, we're celebrating that gift of serenity, but when you look at this so closely, you can see these intertwining butterflies almost dancing in perfect unison. And what that is for us is about us as individuals, it's about us as human beings being the best version of who we can be at all times. The descent of the ball at midnight is only part of the party. Over one million dollars is spent on security and entertainment for this event, which is watched globally. We've got an amazing lineup this year. At 6 p.m., we're going to light and raise the Waterford Crystal Times Square New Year's Eve ball, followed by a dragon dance from Chongqing, China, and then incredible musical performances. In addition to a million tourists who are expected to watch the New Year's celebration in Times Square, another 175 million people will watch the broadcast on television, not only in the U.S., but around the world, as a ton and a half of confetti will fly over the crowd at midnight. For Evgeny Maslov, this is Bob Leveroni, VOA News, New York.